I, I barely made it. It was days where I just didn't think I was gonna make it. It was a point in time where me, my mom, and my sister all slept on the same couch in somebody's basement. Nobody can sleep like that. I slept on the floor, on a concrete floor. You go to school and then they're basically writing you off as just lazy as a kid who doesn't do the work or anything like that. It's like, no, I have real life problems outside of here. I'm sometimes surprised that people, you know, when people say, oh my gosh, you have homeless kids in Akron Public Schools. It's like, well, yeah, you know, their kids are homeless. You know that we have nine shelters in Akron and you must assume, like if you go through the thought process, you must yeah. assume that there are children staying in these shelters and that those children have to go to school. So you said 20,000 students we probably have, total? We have 20,000 total. So you, like we know of 10% that are homeless, so that's 2,000 and then, but that's just known number. So there's always, I would always argue another five to 10% of people that we don't know. But some of these kids are coming and, and just, everything is so difficult in their life that, um, when you're like this all the time, it makes it really difficult to learn. Some days I went without eating, bathing, sharing clothes, having no clothes. Kids complain about how bad school lunch is. Well, guess what? That was my only meal, and that was amazing. And at what point do we say about anything, this is enough, we've had enough, this is unacceptable? These are the, the, the folks that live in the shadows. And uh, we as a society, we don't want to bring them out of the shadow, I feel, but they're here.